Welcome back to Houston Life. Happening in Houston, one of the best things about our city is how creative we get when it comes to our methods of transportation. Absolutely. And this Saturday, there's a citywide celebration of human-powered art on two wheels, and everyone is invited. It is the second annual Houston Art Bike Festival, and here with details is Pete Gershon, curator of programs, Orange Show Center for Visionary Art. First of all, Pete, we love the Orange Show. We were just there for the art car parade. Oh, thank you. And this is kind of a special change because it's the vehicles on two wheels instead of the four wheels, right? Right? That's true. Everybody knows the art car parade and we're applying the same magic to these bikes. It's cleaner, cheaper, better for kids uh, and a really great, great way for people to participate. Other than cheering on the cars that go by, you actually get to get on the bike and ride it yourself. It's super cool and we can see some photos from last year which was yep. the inaugural event yep. and what's incredible is even though last year was the first year, 2,000 folks uh, attended. This year, are you expecting it to be bigger and better? Uh, we hope it'll be bigger and better. Uh, we've been working with the Parks Board and the Houston Independent School District uh, with these amazing kids in their classrooms decorating these bikes. Uh, it's going to be super cute. That We'll ride around in McGregor Park in the morning, uh, and then we'll have an event in the evening with some uh, music and crafts activities for the adult weirdos before we, <laughs> before we launch them off into the darkness of night on a bike ride. So training wheels are accepted even for the adult folks? Uh, I would recommend it. Okay, okay. Kind of keep your balance you're not yeah. two wheels all day. Well, let's just talk about the day, the day-long festivities. What does it kick off? What time does it kick off? And what can folks expect that head on down? Uh, morning component in McGregor is 10 to 1. Uh, you're going to get to see these cute kids in their full glory. They're super cute bikes. They're going to do a ride around. And uh, the judges are going to select some winners. Uh, they'll get their uh, awards. These are gift cards we're giving to the uh, teachers of the, the winning classrooms. Look at that. That's a bike right there. Isn't that crazy? That's the, that's the, that's the bike zoo from Austin, <laughs> Texas. We're going to have them back. Uh, and in the evening, uh, we're going to have this uh, super cool concert uh, at the, over at the Orange Show. This guy, Mono Neon, uh, he is a very funky and flamboyant bass player. If you like Parliament Funkadelic or Prince, you will not want to miss Mono Neon. All and right. it's free, too. Oh. Okay, so th is that the 50th annual Moonlight Ramble, then? That's the launch of the Moonlight Ramble. We're going to send the bikes off at 9. Uh, this is an old Houston tradition, uh, the likes of which uh, we cherish and protect at the Orange Show. So we've adopted this uh, this year. Uh, and like you said before, we're just going to make it bigger and better and more and more fun. Two wheels, three wheels, four wheels, essentially any human powered bicycle vehicle is welcome. That's true. And you can sign up ahead of time or you can register on site. So just keep in mind, scooters are out, right? And the, the electric powered scooters. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you me on that one. We have a lot of scooters in town, right? Uh, by the way, what is this ride that will hit the road to St. Arnold? Uh, this is the Moonlight Ramble. The Moonlight okay. Ramble. Okay, yeah, exactly. so the bike riding continues then, a bike ride to St. Arnold and back. Yeah, that's correct. And they're going to give a drink over on the St. Arnold side. Uh, the route takes you through the East End to St. Arnold's and then back through downtown. Oh, my gosh. Oh. we got a police okay. escort. Everything's going to be very safe. It's all going to be safe Very, and very fun. cool. What a packed itinerary yeah, for a very fun for day. Sean. Thank you so much for this. <laughs> oh, I definitely course. need to be there. Yeah, that's you're going to come, time. right? <laughs> Grab a bike, Lauren yeah, Kelly. Well, shall we take a look you at some of the bikes? Yeah. on the show. <laughs> Uh, now we want to meet one of the artists who will be leading an art bike workshop at the Orange Show's campus. This is Ursula Andreff, and she brought her mostly decorated bike for Lauren and me to help out because everyone can do this, right, Ursula? Exactly, yeah. So a good place to start if you're not sure. You can just get some colorful vinyl tape. I okay. already cut it into Oh, thank you. Tape. And I'll be leading a workshop at the Orange Show from 6 to 8. Now, this is a silly question, yes. but are there any places, obviously besides the wheels, that you should refrain from covering? The only place you want to work, look for is you have the brake pads are going to be right here. So anytime you're putting your decorations at the top of the just bike, you just want to hold this down and wrap it around. So make sure it go goes ahead. around. Uh -huh. I got gotcha. you. Just so, I gotcha. yeah, you can have a friend hold it down for you or you can do it yourself. And, and for someone who's, sorry, Lauren, no, to jump yeah. in, for someone who's never decorated their bike, are there any rules about what people should and should not put on their bicycles, not Ursula? Not at the Orange Show, no, okay. definitely not. <laughs> so we have vinyl, we have vinyl stickers. Okay. Um, you also can add some, I like to work a lot with recycled fabric materials. Oh, so all some else. bells. Yeah, okay. some bells. You can always wrap more things. So this is, again, just a work in progress. 
Okay, so I'm gonna always, grab. I think it's yeah, gonna take this. me about an hour to get this backing <laughs> okay, peeled off. Okay, you said it, you. it can go right here, right? Oh, just I stay see. away from the. Just wrap it, and I'll hold this. For okay, you. Oh, perfect. And this is just bicycle tape, you said? Uh, it's just vinyl stickers, and vinyl I've stickers. had this bike for three years, and it's weathered a lot of Houston floods and storms. All oh, right. How many yeah. bikes have you decorated uh, over the the time? A is couple. This your first bike? I've been making art bikes since I was about 14 years old. Oh, so. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a main form of transportation since I was a kid. So. What was the response last year, Ursula, when all these people showed up? Because I know. A lot yeah. of people bring their family members and their friends to make it a whole family event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really a lot of fun. We had, um, yeah, it was a big gathering. We had lots of kids. It was kind of hot last year, so we're lucky yeah. that this year it's going to be a lot colder, cooler, maybe a little rainy, but it'll be good. Yeah, it, colder I can't, cool. but cooler, yes, yeah. maybe. <laughs> and you also, I also want to say that once you start decorating your bikes, it's really hard to stay at the bike, um, and so you might want to expand it to make a costume. So this is one of my bike helmets. That oh, I've decorated. Oh Match it. Yeah. How long did it take you to do this bike in your helmet? Oh man, uh, many hours. <laughs> yeah. So you can also um, ride around with your bike helmet, and you can actually see, contrary to popular belief, you can see perfectly through fringe. Ta da! Yeah. Ursula, that is Looks so great. super cool. Thank and what's you. that? Oh yeah, so you have other options as well. So you can expand, you can, if you want for safety, you can also decorate the vest. A safety vest. Okay. okay, so people get into it then. Yes. Their wardrobe yes. along with a bicycle. Of course, yeah, don't stop, decorated. don't stop with don't the bike. Don't stop with the bike. Yeah. Okay. For and sure. the first step is starting with the vinyl stickers. Okay. Yeah. Super nice, cool. Ursula, Andref, thank yeah. you so much. You're you welcome. can put that last thing on as well. Oh, yeah. So this is also, is. if you'd like to expand onto a cloak, because it's really hard to stop once you start, <laughs> you can also ride around with a colorful cloak. And if Ursula I, understood the assignment. Absolutely. I did. I did. <laughs> Okay. The more, right. the better. More is more. That's exactly. Sure. Oh, wow. Very, yes. very nice. Well, Ursula, thank you so much. Yeah, thank and you for having me. Pete Gershon, thank you, sir, as well. That's yeah. a whole lot of fun. Keep an eye out for the bikes. Yes. Better yet, go join them, folks. If you would like to get more info about the second annual Houston Art Bike Parade and Festival happening Saturday, May 13th, you can visit the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. I know we'll be able to easily spot Ursula, that's for sure. <laughs> All right.